Hey friends, it's Kay. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. Today we're going to be neatening up under my bathroom sink in my master bathroom in my rental apartment. So this is something you can do if you rent a space and you don't want to install pullouts. I have these two alpha drawer units which I just stuck in there when I moved in and just proceeded to dump all of my toiletries in so it doesn't live up to its maximum potential. These are exclusively from the container store and are bomb, but they have tops that come with them and I meant to buy them so you can use the extra top space for storage, but didn't do that yet. There's also some stuff on the floor of the cabinet and look at that. That is all my hair stuff in this super deep drawer. It just wasn't working for me because I have too many small things in this enormously deep drawer. I'll show you exactly how deep it is a little later in the video, but it just is chaos because I wash and style my hair once or twice a week, pretty much. I do a re refresh like once a week, but I do a big wash day once a week and I had my deep conditioner out there. So it just was a mess. And also here were all of my scrunchies and hair bands. And because it has no top on it, this happens. How annoying is this? This needed to be remedied so quickly and I was so excited to be able to just put the finishing touches on this cabinet. This is all my dental stuff, uh, flosses, floss and toothbrushes and stuff. The feminine drawer pretty much was fine the way that it is. I didn't need to do anything to that, but my skincare and lotion drawer and stuff like that just needed to be decluttered and sort of changed and handled. So I also moved that stuff around a little bit. So I'm going to actually declutter this space with you guys and I'm going to show the entire process. Look how deep that drawer is. It's just, it just was not working. So this is the before footage for you all to remember when we see the after footage. So the first thing you wanna do when you're organizing your bathroom sink is you wanna just take everything out of there. I know that seems really daunting, but that is really the first step in the process. So I took everything out, including the alpha drawer units. I cleaned the area up a little bit because it looked like it had gotten some hair products and stuff. I am also flashing you guys, I'm so sorry. So I censored it out. We gotta get those uh, high rise jeans back. Am I right? Am I right? Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna lime the bottom of the cabinet shelf with this plaster mat. This is my personal favorite and I always recommend this under cabinet that are attached to sinks because it helps protect the bottom of the sink in case there is a leak. And this one has a ribbed side so that it gets some airflow underneath if it happens to get wet underneath. It'll dry and not just mold under there and be disgusting. So plaster mat's been my favorite for years. I've been using it for such a long time and I love it. And that's usually the first step in the process. I don't know why it took me so long to do this plaster mat project, but you know what? Better late than never. Then the next thing I wanted to do was put the tops on my alpha drawer units. They have edge protectors now. When did this happen? But thank you container store because sometimes when you would get these tops, they would have their edges all dinged up because they're made of melamine. So I am so glad they did that. They just attached to the top of the drawer unit with this adhesive. So you have to be very, very careful. I usually recommend, uh, when I was working at the container store, I recommend that you do it with a friend, but I've done I've put the tops on so many of these that I, I, I'm pretty proficient at doing this by myself. Um, but because once you get the top on, it is on. So just be very, very careful. I did discover this one did have a dinged side, uh, regardless of whether or not it had protection or not. But I just stuck the dinged side on the back and I didn't have to look at it or anything like that. So um, if you do have a dinged side from one of these tops, you can return it to the container store. They'll give you a, you know, a brand new one, but I didn't think it was that bad. So I just decided I'd live with it. Next, I cleaned up my mess because I figure it's easier to clean up as I go rather than to make a huge big mess and to be overwhelmed by the whole idea of having the stuff on the floor. Anyway, anyway, I bought some stuff at the container store for this project. I don't normally 
buy things anymore from TCS, but I, I just needed a few specific things for this project. I got some labels, I got some cute pastel colored drawer organizers so I can live my pastel dreams. I got this cool tray that fits in one of the drawers and I got two of these other size drawers to take the place of the big three runner drawer and this pretty bin from Yamazaki that would fit perfectly in between the two units and underneath the pipe. My other advice to you is to invest in a solution that fits around the pipes of your sink. The pipes are going to be your biggest like hurdle when you organize your under sink space. So they make shelving units and sort of shelving solutions for that go actually around the pipes. But I, I just find it's easier to do stuff on the side of the pipes and then under the pipes. I just think that it's easier. Next, I'm spreading everything out on the floor and normally I don't show all this process. By the way, look at how many small things are in this deep giant drawer. This was just definitely not working for me and I always recommend that you put the size of things relative to the container, but I didn't listen to my own advice in this one. So normally I don't film this entire process, but I'm going to show it to you today to show that there is a lot of trial and error in involved in organizing spaces. So I, you know, I, I had sort of a, a, a very broad plan about what I was gonna do, but I mostly wanted to declutter and use all of the things I purchased. You don't have to, but <laughs> I'm pretty good at doing this now that I did get use, I did use everything that I purchased. Um, so I, I purchased a dummy battery, especially for these times when I just wanted to film the entire process and not have to turn off the camera because my battery was running out because that's something that happened very frequently in the past and it will never happen again. So you guys will see the entire process process. So you can see I'm taking out items and I'm evaluating whether or not they're adding anything to my life. You just saw me just get rid of a whole bunch of hair ties. I don't use hair ties anymore. I haven't since I discovered using silk scrunchies is much better for my hair, uh, you know, causes less breakage, whatever. So that's what I have been using and the hair ties, they went out the door. So it's a good time to cut down on things you're absolutely not using. The things that you keep under your sink in the bathroom should be the things that you touch absolutely every day. Well, not, not only every day, but at least every week because you know, wash day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it should be things you use all the time and your go-tos. I've been, have, I've been wearing a natural hairstyle for long enough to have established a pretty solid hair care routine with like three or four of my favorite products. And you know what? I'm not branching out. <laughs> I found the products that work for me and I'm going to continue to use those until, you know, until I can't anymore, until one's discontinued or something. So once you find the things that really work for you, try to only buy the things you need and use all the time. So it's really tempting to try new products. Sometimes I can still relate. I still do that sometimes with skincare. I actually like to try new skincare every now and again, but like with hair care, I've cut it off. <laughs> I just repurchase the things that I use all the time and I've found that really prevents a lot of clutter. I threw away actually a couple of hair care products that I had tried and that just didn't work for me. And it's okay, the money was already spent. It just had to go. Sometimes I like to try and use up the entire product, but not today. My other piece of advice is if you are not sure what products you really need in your under sink area, if you are not sure what to declutter, keep track of what you're actually using for a couple of weeks. I think a couple of weeks is a good barometer to let you know which products you really like and which ones you really, you know, can't care about. Uh, I found that I did this evaluation process with myself and I found that I used, you know, my favorite products over and over and over again. And every now and again, I tried something new, but mostly I went back to using the same things over and over. So make a commitment to your faves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway, this is me for sort of finishing up this process. I made these super cute labels on my printer. Oh my gosh. I told you I'm living my pastel dreams. I've accepted that pastel is something I really enjoy. So I created these labels um, 
in Canva and I printed them on my printer and put them in these alpha drawer labels. I'm like, what are these? They're alpha drawer labels. You can buy these to specifically go with your alpha drawers. You can, you know, make your own labels. You can stick on magnetic labels. You can do anything you want with these drawers. They're pretty flexible. And uh, this was the end result. I made a, a little bit of a mess, so had to clean it up with the Dyson vac. The Dyson vac always comes through with the satisfying vacuuming. By the way, look at how neat it's making the bathroom carpet look. Do you love it? Oh my gosh, that is like the most satisfying buying thing in the world to me. I can't. Anyway, finished product. I love the way that it looks. It's nice and clean looking and the labels are pretty much my favorite part of this. The labels are so cute. They're like light pastel colors. You, you can't even, I mean, you, you can tell from up close that they're different colors, but not from far away. And that's what I love. The menstrual monthly drawer stayed as it was, you know, you know. This drawer was so fun because I got to separate everything. I have all my silk headbands and all my cotton headbands in one place. And finally, I can find my scrunchies. I don't have to go like digging around in the drawer. That was really awful. So everything has its own place. It's not out of control and I am obsessed. I can finally find my scrunchies. I've got this hair drawer here. Now this looks a little bit well, it's not perfect, right? Because it looks a little bit messy still, but the best bonus is I can just take this out and put it on the counter on wash day and have all my products just on the counter. And then when I'm done, I just stick it back in. I love it. I think it's good. I, I will sacrifice how neat it looks by how cool it is. Anyway, got the hair dryer on the top and that's basically that cabinet. In the next one, I've got my toothbrush and my floss and my charger for my toothbrush and floss and that's it. <laughs> I took out all the other stuff that was in there and just concentrated on the stuff that I need. And plus, again, living in my pastel and pink dreams. Look at that pink candle holder that I cleaned out matching. I'm, I'm obsessed. Anyway, here's my skincare drawer, which all the things I use in the morning and night, plus my deodorant. And I love it. I have one package. Oh, these are my face cloths or face pads. These are reusable. I put these in the washing machine instead of throwing away cotton. We love it. Anyway, I have a daytime bin that I use in the daytime. I got my Flonase and my moisturizer. And then I have a nighttime bin with all my nighttime products and uh, my iron <laughs> that I take every night. <laughs> I don't know why I had to show that, but that's my nighttime routine. And in the bottom here, we've got the rest of the stuff that really didn't fit in the smaller drawer, but it's just like face wash, some oils that I like to use sometimes in this big old micellar water that I usually don't have a bottle that big. Usually the, the smaller bottle fit upright in there, but not that big boy. He's in there laying down, but it's fine. <laughs> I got the body lotion, my psoriasis cream, and my jewelry cleaner. And in the middle here, we just have a little bin with my hair dryer, my flexi rods, and this little teeny container full of doodads that I probably actually will be dealing with or getting rid of at some point because I don't use again there's those hair bands who uses those not me <laughs> anyway I love the way that this looks I'm obsessed I think that it looks so good oh by the way Listerine and uh, charger and a travel case for my toothbrush and uh, flosser are up there so I am so happy with the way that this turned out I am think it's looks so much neater than it did before. It's nice and clean, it's bright, and it doesn't make me anxious when I look at it in the morning when I try to get ready. It just makes me feel calm and happy and it's, it's cool, I like it. Do you like this transformation? Let me know down in the comment below. And I hope you guys enjoyed, and now for some bonus clover.